Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Trend Trader here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin on the daily. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. These markets are extremely volatile, so please do your own research and trade responsibly. Uh, so as you can see, oh, and by the way, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever you decide to celebrate. Um, so as you can see, uh, we basically, just like we said, got denied uh, this last test up um, by the 528, um, essentially sold back off and consolidating below now the 10 we already crossed down below the 21 and with this close now below the 10 what I would expect to happen is we're gonna retest the bottom of the range probably be moving down either to retest the bottom or this prior low at the 6534 range uh, if we came down to essentially anywhere below the 6886 uh, 6900 range what I would expect to happen is a test down to the full bottom and an attempt to make a new low uh, in the attempt that the low does not hold, um, the next potential area of interest for me is going to be, like we said, probably back down at the $6,000 or $5,800 range. Um, but at this point in time, I don't see any reason to think that this is going to switch switch around and go bullish. Um, all the indicators, as well as price action itself, are you know basically indicating uh, continuation. Uh, we did get two powerful moves up after that uh, after that strong sell off. And both of them were met by an equally powerful sell-off uh, back down to the downside. We tagged the 886 on this prior move and, uh, you know, came down immediately to the 0.5. And what I would expect is just continuation uh, down to essentially meet back up with the parabolic SAR um, on the uh, daily, which is going to put us at that 6900 range. If we can find support at the parabolic SAR and get our daily close above that range, I think it's likely that we could retest back up and attempt one more time to get back above the 528. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, in the meantime, um, you know, all we did essentially was we sold off, we came back up, got denied by the 21, con continually got rejected, and then we finally got above it, closed, got a powerful move up, and all we did was just get the same rejection back off the 50 day. Um, and at this point in time, we're still trading below all substantial moving averages. We're in a multi month downtrend. And I don't see any reason that this area, other than key Fibonacci levels, would potentially be a reversal. And in the event that we do see a reversal and a change of the overall trend, um, it's not going to happen overnight and it's going to be very, very obvious. Uh, at this point in time, if we don't start consolidating back above the, the 200 and moving the moving averages back to the upside, there's no reason to think that price action all of a sudden is just going to reverse and people are going to get bullish in this market. What's more likely to happen is capitulation because essentially the longer we go in this continual downtrend, the more likely people are to essentially just give up on this asset at least temporarily and then look to come back in at lower prices. And uh, typically what happens is we'll bottom out, see a rally off a key fib level, and then you'll see the market strength coming back in, just like we did with this uh, rally that started in January. And, uh, you know, it was very evident with that rally, you know, along the entire way up that we had switched over to bullish. There was multiple indicators and multiple oscillators. Uh, and at this point in time, I do not see any indicators. I do not see any oscillators. I do not see anything whatsoever that tells me that this asset is going to start trending to the upside. So at this point in time, all I'm looking for is continued shorts uh, from key fib levels and you know essentially like key uh, reaction rallies uh, off of our sell-offs. So what I would expect to happen is after we got this multi-month sell-off, uh, you know, came down, we get a bounce up like that. We come down, each one's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller as people essentially try to escape their positions, you know, either at dead even or, or you know, above a loss. And now that we're consolidating below our support and all moving averages, I think our next target is still going to stand. I'd like to retest the bottom of the range. And then if that range breaks, I think we're coming all the way back down to the um, 5395. And if we switch over to the weekly time frame, you'll see that that corresponds almost exactly, uh, you know, with where the 200 day uh, EMA and SMA come in uh, on the uh, weekly time frame. So again, when we were looking at the weekly this week, we said exactly what was going to happen. We said we were going to test back up and attempt to consolidate back above the 90 and the 50, and that if that got rejected, we would immediately come back down and retest the bottom of the range. And now you'll see with the weekly, you know, only essentially a few days in, we've already sold off and we're looking to bearishly engulf the prior week's candle. And not only that, but if we take out this candle uh, and bearishly engulf, we're essentially going to take out the previous uh, five weeks of price action. So at this point in time, uh, we're sticking with the same thing. Our initial support area is going to be in the 6500 range, but 
there's no reason to take any trades to the upside, uh, you know, until we at least tag the 5,300 essentially range. Um, and if anything changes, it, it's not going to happen in a day or a week or even a month at this point in time. So you'll have plenty of time, you know, in my opinion, to uh, react as well. And then switching over finally to the monthly time frame, uh, you'll see we lost a positive slope on the uh, Jewel Thief. We're now trending to the downside. Uh, the knife is below our, uh, our blue. So what we expect to happen is to now lose the slope on the purple, uh, get the potential cross back to the downside, and the knife to stick back out the bottom. And just like we spoke about as well on the TJD, TD, MACD, uh, we did in fact get our second uh, negative histogram um, on the monthly and what I would expect to happen now is this to strengthen to the downside. Uh, if we could have pulled off a positive histogram, you know, I may have gotten a little bit more bullish in this situation as we did rally and get that, uh, you know, um, you know, what appeared to be a uh, positive bullish move to the upside. But essentially, it looks like at this point in time, it was just a reaction rally, an attempt to save the 21 moving average. And, uh, you know, if continuation happens this week and we don't get the close, back above basically where we're at right now if we close below seven thousand dollars the market is going to be confident on the monthly time frame that we have in fact lost the 21 monthly EMA and then the next target is going to be the 50 which is going to come in at 47.84 uh, on the monthly but again that would be more likely to get tagged by like a wick I would expect more likely on like a weekly 200 to act as our uh, next key support area so uh, well, there we have it, a little bit of Christmas uh, TA everything's playing out exactly like we talked about guys um, there's nothing new, no new information in the market at this point in time. Uh, no reason to get bullish. Uh, no reason to, uh, no reason to change our overall outlook um, on crypto and Bitcoin as well. And a matter of fact, I think the longer that this price action continues, the more likely we are to get a violent capitulation move to the downside. Um, and again, the parabolic SAR on the monthly is going to be in danger at that same level. So. You know, if we do come down to that that range right there, you know, I would expect a reaction rally and attempted push back up, you know, to try to save the 21. But there's no reason at this point in time to think that we're not going to continue selling off back down to at least retest the prior low uh, long term at 3,200. Um, I, I don't think the happening or any of this news or any of the stuff that people are trying to get hyped up about is going to affect the actual price action. I think the price action you know, may appear like it's affected by those things in previous situations, but we don't have enough data on something like a happening that's happened two times in all the existence of Bitcoin to be making financial trading and investing decisions based off of something that's not even a trend because it hasn't happened a third time yet. So I would continue to essentially see the sell-off. Um, if we do get the close at the end of the month, Above the 21, I would expect us to essentially just test straight back up to the 10 as well. Um, but if that gets rejected at 7,800, again, I'm just expecting more continuation to the downside. So there we have it, guys. Uh, crypto Trend Trader uh, market update on Bitcoin, uh, long-term technical analysis. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Crypto Trend Trader signing off.